This here is a Dungeness crab. So this is one of the giant fisheries on the west coast of the United States. I'm gonna flip this guy over here and get a look at him. The weirdest thing I felt was the fact that they have like this hair up here. Now these guys are scavengers. So if you get a look at their mouth, they almost got like little hands that they're feeding themselves with like the cookie monster, but grosser because they're scavengers. So they're eating anything dead that ends up on the sea floor. That's what they're going after. Now, something fascinating about these guys is their long-term commitment to relationships. And let me explain. So for when they're getting ready to mate, the male will sense a female's readiness to mate by smelling her pee in the water. So she'll send out pheromones, and he'll go over to her. Now get this, they'll embrace for two to three days, looking at each other in the eyes with their abdomens touching, the male on top of the female. Days, so they're not brushing their teeth, they're not taking a break, nothing, they're just doing that. Now if you look right here, the male's got this antennae, okay? So the female will actually signal to him that hey, I'm ready to molt, which is where they get rid of their exoskeleton. They molt that off, and then when she does that, or when she's about to, she's gonna urinate on these little antennas right here and say, it's game on. She's gonna molt immediately upon molting. He's going to mate with her, and then he's gonna hightail it out. So I was a little bit tongue in cheek with the whole commitment thing, but he, three days is a long time. So he does that, mates with her. Three to five months later, the eggs and everything are going to be still attached to her body. The babies will hatch. Upon hatching, they'll be free swimming. Okay, so they'll be going out living their little crab lives. Fascinating little creature. They've got to be a decent size to keep. And I can't wait to learn how to cook them. You about ready, Rich? Show You're, me how it's done. You ready? Yeah, I think All so. Right. I better watch yours first. So, this gap between the legs and the shell here. Yeah. Your left hand, you're gonna shove them between there on the legs. Okay. Hold down flat, you're gonna lift up and you're gonna peel that off. Okay, it's let's like, see it. It's like open a can of salsa. Just like that. Okay, that's, that's weird how well that worked. All right, I'm gonna give it a try then. I That looks easier than I can imagine it would be. So I grab right under here? Yeah. And I'm just gonna pull. Straight across. There you go. Okay. And then you pull the shell off. We're gonna put it in here. Is that just, you just. I mean, if you want to. It's like kombucha. All right. So next up, you're gonna split two legs straight down the middle. Kind of comes out kind of gross. Okay, so, so I'm holding this tight. Yep. And splitting. Yep, just right apart. Perfect. All right. <laughs> now what? All right. Next up is you're gonna remove the uh, front piece here. Pull it straight off. You have the gills. These little like long fingers sticking off. Just gonna grab that. Peel those off. All this goo and just kind of nastiness. You just. What is that goo and nastiness? Just, you know, I don't know. It's part of crab anatomy that I didn't study. They call it black tar. <laughs> yeah. So you're just kind of pulling away anything that isn't meat. Correct. Yeah, I mean, you can just fling it in there. White shirt, bro. <laughs> Bleach. There we go. So that's one side there. Okay, so it's just cleaned out. Yep. So here's the front piece here st still hanging off. Grab that, peel it off. Grab those lungs, all that off. You imagine like it's all the stuff that you're, you're gonna boil and so you don't wanna be cooking it yeah, you don't want that own, in the meat. Yeah. So, here's most of it. All right, I'll get you back. It's like a water balloon fight and you just threw both of yours. I'm ready for number two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get so, in on this. Two clean sides. Let me get in on this Halloween bowl real quick. Okay, so this stuff, you grab this thing first. Yep. Pull that right off. Okay. The rest of those lungs. Everything that you don't really. He looked want. like a smoker. <laughs> Black lung. And you did it where you like put it right over my head and swung it back. Look at that. That was clean. Yeah. That went well. That looks pretty good. Yeah, and I didn't even get anything all over you. See how friends do it? Clean. Not too bad. 
because he followed instructions. That's right, perfectly. Oh, that's... It's his face. Oh, yeah. It's like his predator face. You think it was designed, the movie Predator was designed off these guys? I, I really do think so. It's pretty, pretty scary looking. I got some of your black tar. Yeah. Okay, this one, that's his dingus still. So what happens there, just rip just, that. Just rip that off. Pull the yeah, dingus. He doesn't need it anymore. He must have leaned right because it stayed on the right one. Oh. Yeah, everyone's different. All right, perfect. How long do we boil these for? Uh, 12, about 12 minutes. 12 minutes? Yeah. All right, so this process, we're taking the meat out of the pot into a bowl with ice. Oh. And then we're gonna put ice over the top. It helps like contract the meat away from the shell, makes it easier to pull, makes the uh, meat more like condensed. Whereas if you just ate it warm, it's kind of softer. Okay, I never heard of that. That's yeah. interesting. Are you learning how to break these apart? Yeah. I want one of the claw ones. You don't want that one. Oh yeah, that, that looks like the one I want. <laughs> Why right. do you think we had so many without both claws? There's a yeah. lot of one clawed mofos running around down there. Uh, that's a good question. I, you know, it's hard to say why they lose one. I don't, I don't know. So, what I usually start with is get this meat here, squeeze that. So, I start with the claw first. You can just rip that sucker off. Okay. Move on to the next one. Pull that off. Okay. Yep, there you go. You're getting some meat, loose meat. Okay. And just keep going. Oh, I see. So yep. it's like a piece of the knuckle meat is staying with each one of the legs. And you have like a segment of each, right? Yeah. So one of the easier ways, so this butter this side, you can take this leg and see how it's kind of like hook shaped? Yeah. Whack it there. All the meat came out. Oh, got, I see. And we got some on the table. So you're making a meat bowl. Kind of. And I thought so that was for shells. You'd have been real upset if I went first. We, huh? got, we got one over here too for that. <laughs> got it. So, once again, gently hit it. I kind of ripped that whole thing off already. Oh, well, it's different for that <laughs> leg. But every once in a while you get a little piece in there. Sure. Just clean it up, toss that piece. But then you end up with this meat. We like to make crab cakes out of that. Okay, out of the knuckle meat? Yep, but if we're gonna move on to the knuckle. Yeah. You get your tool. Yeah. Open that up. I like to start with this little. Yeah. There. Okay. Rip that off. Pull it forward. Yep. Okay. We don't need that. Let's drop it in. So now, see this part here? It always wants to go like, you want to pull the opposite of the direction it wants to go. Okay, so it bends that way, so we're going to go like yep. that. Let's peel it off. Okay. So, get our tool. We're going to go across here. Gently hit. Reminds me of the guy in Pirates of the Caribbean when it's got one. And right. now you got this big piece of meat. So you got a little bit of that. Uh, Talon. Yep. So right there. Yep. You don't want that. Rookies. I know, right? Must have been the guy in charge of overcooking them. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, is the whole thing that good? Oh yeah. That's awesome. So you can move on to the knuckle now? Yeah. Gently crack that. Peel that apart. And these tools make it so much easier. Yeah, definitely. Oof. Like pushing it from the other side comes right. Ooh, -hoo. the creme de la one. creme right there, baby. You're good on that one. Oh, 
So that's Dungeness Crab. Yeah, and so the rest of these two, you just work your way, the smallest little piece. Sure. Rip that off. Same thing, you're just gonna use the tool, whatever direction it wants to go. Do the opposite. Do the opposite. You're gonna use the tool, crack it apart, all the way down in. This has still has the body meat. Lock that in. Perfect. Yeah. You'll, you'll get, once again, check it. Make sure you didn't get any shells. Get your most body meat there. Make some cakes out of that. I'm interested in trying that. This meat is fantastic. Honestly, Dungeness crab might be my new favorite. It's so, delicious. You know, it seems like crabbing would be like a super difficult thing to accomplish. But you know what? Going out, getting a couple pots. You know who we saw out there? People in dinghies. We saw people in other boats, you know, 20 foot or less going out and trying something new. You're allowed two pots per person where we were, so it's not like you have to be some commercial fisherman going out there with a million pots in order to get a few Dungeness crab. You're allowed five a day, and I recommend going out and giving it a try, especially if you're in the state of Washington. I hope you enjoy this catch and cook. Thanks so much for tuning in. Stay green.